Should you use an eastern backhand grip to help you to get more spin on your kick serve? I like it and I also don't like it. I'm going to explain why. First of all, a lot of people think they have a continental grip, but they don't have a continental grip. They look down, they kind of see it's kind of in the right place, but we don't have this strong position where the heel of the hand is really pushing against the racket. So a lot of people will see continental at the top, but they'll be in this position. So, so many times I'm saying, you don't quite have continental and everyone thinks they got continental. Now, if you move to an Eastern backhand grip, stops you having to worry about whether you've got it. It doesn't fall out of it, which is an issue that a lot of people have. They start with the continental, but by the finish, it's kind of slid into what I call the lifeline. So it goes from this strong position here and it kind of slots into there. You don't really want to be at that in that position at any stage. So by going more towards sort of an Eastern backhand grip where the hand is behind the racket here, sort of in front of the racket here, it allows you to get a bit more spin, but also to keep that strong grip. And that's going to be very important for getting your top spin. So let me try and hit one with this grip. Feels a bit weird to me, but it certainly goes to the extreme. So if you're struggling with a continental grip, go to the extreme, play around with this and see what you can make happen. To me, feels rubbish. It feels like I got to use my wrist a lot more. So it puts a bit of strain on my wrist that's already kind of damaged at the moment. But another reason I don't really like it when you get to a high level is because I don't like the idea of having different grips. If I have a first serve and it's going to be continental, my second serve is more around the racket. Okay, maybe that works, but I'm not just hitting and I would imagine no great tennis player would ever just be hitting two serves. You don't just have a first serve and a second serve. What if you want to hit an aggressive first serve with a little bit of extra spin on it? But I like the consistency of having one grip and familiarizing myself with that grip. Another thing that tends to happen when you're using an Eastern backhand grip is you tend to get a lot of spin on the ball. Unfortunately, I lost this part of the video, but it's important to understand that this grip, the Eastern backhand grip, will allow you to get more spin, which can be great, but it can also make you get too much spin to where your second serve just doesn't have enough pace on it. But also for me, it just feels like my arm isn't really rotating that well. When I'm hitting a kick serve, my arm, I brush up the ball and my arm pronates through. And as soon as I start going to an Eastern backhand grip, it gets a little bit cuppy. It's not, it doesn't feel great for me. I don't feel like I can move my arm in the way I would like to be able to move it. So for me, it doesn't work. But if you're really struggling to get your top spin, to get your kick, I'm a big believer in going to extremes. So when I'm asking people to do things, I always say, prioritize it and exaggerate it. And if you're looking to get a little bit more spin, you're looking to get a strong continental grip and you feel like it's always slipping out of there, you can't get much spin on the ball, go to the extreme, rush up on that ball, and then I'd like to see you go back more towards a continental so you have a little bit more versatility, you can do all serves with that one grip, and you can move your arm a little more naturally, in my opinion, throughout the shot. Let me know what you think in the comment section below talk to you soon. I'm going to leave you with two of my favorite serve videos. Check one of them out.